Okay, I've been asked to do one, two, and three off of this uh, uh, unit two review and number 15 for the ones I haven't gotten. So this says determine whether the tangent line of the curve at the indicated points is positive. Well, you should know that a tangent line has to match the curve. And so since right here that curve is increasing, this is a positive slope. And hopefully here you can see this is going down. So the tangent line would be a negative slope. And when you're at the top or the bottom of it, this would be a zero slope right here. So there's all three of those in a matter of seconds. I did three before. And then 15 is the last one that I haven't done yet. It says the graph of F prime, the derivative of F. So this is F prime. This is the derivative, which is defined for all X shown on the right from negative two to seven. What are all values of X for which F has a horizontal tangent line? And again, I hope you know that this means the slope, which is the derivative, has to equal zero. So in other words, they're asking me, where over here on the graph is there a zero? And remember, in order to be a derivative, uh, you cannot do a derivative at an endpoint. So even though there's a zero here, we can't say this is a horizontal tangent line because uh, the graph, you can't do a derivative at an endpoint. You got to have more than that because it's not a smooth curve. It stops. So this is not a possibility. This is a possibility. This is a possibility. And this is a possibility because you have stuff on both sides. Now, this is the derivative. This is not the original function. So we don't necessarily consider this a sharp turn, um, but the F prime value is zero. Uh, so this is F prime, not F. If F had a sharp turn, we wouldn't be able to do a zero there, but this is F prime. So we would say that C is the answer for 15. Have a good day, and I'll see you on Monday. Be ready for the test.